good morning students today we shall study about the structure of sperm students this is an easy and very important topic for the exam in the exam you may be asked to draw the diagram and explain the structure and functions of it or sometimes they may give the diagram and you are asked to identify the diagram and label the parts understood so shall we start learning about it yes so students what are sperms sperms are nothing but the male gametes the male parent produces male gametes called sperms right so where are sperms produced sperms are produced inside the testis i have shown in my previous video right yes sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testis now how does a sperm look like sperm is microscopic motile and unicellular microscopic means it is very small that we cannot see with our naked eye and we need a microscope with at least 400x magnification to observe it in fact students this is the smallest cell in human beings whole uh, human body lo smallest cell ledante sperm and largest cell ledante ovum got it now it is motile motile means movable it moves from male parent to female parent during mating process mating jariginappudu male parent nunchi female parent ki idu move avutundi so it is motile then unicellular it is made up of one cell so this whole structure is made up of one cell next sperm is covered by plasma membrane students you all know animal cells are covered with plasma membrane right so sperm is also animal cell i mean human cell which is uh, human is also animal right yes so it is covered with plasma membrane so this whole structure is covered with plasma membrane now it has four important parts students head neck middle piece and tail so this conical region is head this depression is neck the cylindrical region is middle piece and this whip like region ఈ కర్డ్ రీజన్ ఉంది కదా దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ స్టేల్ నౌ వాట్ డస్ హెడ్ కంటైన్స్ హెడ్ కంటైన్స్ న్యూక్లియస్ అండ్ ఎ క్యాప్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఓవర్ ద న్యూక్లియస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ యాక్రోజోమ్ దిస్ క్యాప్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ కంటైన్స్ సెవెరల్ ఎంజైన్స్ అండ్ దీస్ ఎంజైన్స్ హెల్ప్ ద స్పర్మ్ టు ఫ్యూజ్ విత్ ఓవమ్ ఓవమ్ యాక్చువల్లీ కంటైన్స్ సెవెరల్ మెంబ్రేన్స్ ఓవమ్ చుట్టూ కూడా కొన్ని మెంబ్రేన్స్ ఉంటాయి ఆ మెంబ్రేన్స్ ని రెప్చర్ చేసుకొని స్పర్మ్ లోపలికి వెళ్ళాలంటే దానికి కొన్ని ఎంజైమ్స్ కావాలి ఆ ఎంజైమ్స్ ఎక్కడ ఉంటాయి అంటే యాక్రోజోమ్ లో ఉంటాయి సో యాక్రోజోమ్ హెల్ప్స్ ఇన్ ఫ్యూజన్ విత్ ఓవమ్ నా న్యూక్లియస్ న్యూక్లియస్ కంటైన్స్ డిఎన్ఏ దట్ ఈస్ ద క్రోమోజోమ్స్ హౌ మెనీ క్రోమోజోమ్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ స్పర్మ్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ of the 23 chromosomes 22 chromosomes are normal chromosomes and the remaining chromosome is the sex chromosome so this sex chromosome may be y or x so depending upon the type of sex chromosome whether it is x or y sperms are of two types y sperms and x sperms so students sperms lo 22 chromosomes are normal chromosomes so okati matram sex chromosome untundi adi x anna kavachu y anna kavachu so x chromosome aithe x sperm antaru y chromosome unte y sperm antaru so sperms are two types x sperms and y sperms but the female gametes that is ova they always contain x chromosome as sex chromosome so ova lo 22 chromosomes plus sex chromosome always x e untundi so ova contains x as sex chromosome so during fertilization what happens if y chromosome containing sperm fuses with ova then we get a boy baby and if x chromosome containing sperm fuses with ova we get a girl baby uh, understood students this is how sex is formed so what did you understand depending upon the type of nucleus that is the nucleus whether it contains a x chromosome or y chromosome the sperms are of two types x cro x sperms and y sperms that is about head next the neck neck is just this depression region and it connects head and middle piece now middle piece middle piece contains mitochondria and this mitochondria provides energy we know no mitochondria is the power house of the cell so for this sperm cell the power house is in middle piece 
it contains mitochondria and it is the energy producer got it students so with this energy the sperm is able to propel or move through female reproductive system now tail so tail helps in propelling moving swimming understood so it has to swim through the female reproductive system and reach the ova right so for that the tail helps in reaching the ovum so this is about the structure and the role of each part students now sperms along with seminal fluid is called as semen i already told right uh, so what is semen semen means sperms along with the fluid uh, the seminal fluid what does this fluid contain the fluid contains the secretions from three glands so what are those glands students so they are seminal glands that is seminal vesicles prostate glands and corpus glands now you understood right a semen means sperms plus the fluid of those three glands is called semen and the process of release of semen out of the body is called as ejaculation so during a mating process the semen is released from the body of the male and reaches the female reproductive system and that process of release of semen is called as ejaculation then em antarante semen bite ra vache process ni ejaculation antaru and now one more important point is males uh, start producing sperms from the age of 13 to 14 years so sperms are produced only from the age of 13 to 14 years before that that is before the puberty age they don't produce sperms only after 13 to 14 years they start producing sperms and how long they produce sperms that is throughout their life but with the age advances they earn uh, the ability to produce sperms decrease however they produce throughout life throughout the life so throughout life produce chestaru kani a ability anedi koddiga reduce avutundi with age so understood students this is about the structure of sperm and uh, i also explained the sex formation depending upon the type of sperms this is about the structure of sperm students i hope you understood and in my next video i am going to start the female reproductive system thank you